Our team coverage of today's hearing of the January 6th hearing continues with Dr. Sean Foreman, political science chair at Barry University. Dr. Foreman, thank you for being with us. So describe to us the courage from then Vice President Mike Pence to stand up to a sitting president trying to have him overturn the presidential election. Well, good evening, Carly. Uh, well, my, Donald Trump didn't think it was courage. Uh, that tweet that Trump sent at 2.24 on January 5th, we're going to hear a lot more about it in a later hearing. And that's when he realized the gig was up and Pence was not going to do what they've been trying to force him to do. I'm not sure that a lot of people say Mike Pence was courageous. Uh, you know, all along, he went along with the Trump administration. These people who didn't resign, who spoke to reporters anonymously, it was all kind of late when they came around. But that said, yes, Vice President Mike Pence did save the day. It was courageous to stand his ground, not be escorted out of the Capitol when his life and his family's life was in danger. But there was never, ever, uh, from what we hear, any thought that Mike Pence was going to do what Donald Trump wanted him to do because it was illegal and we all knew it was, and Mike Pence stood his ground, and so we can call that courageous. And Dr. Foreman, now with the midterm elections looming, how's American democracy sort of repositioning itself while this hearing is unfolding? Well, Lauren, uh, we're watching it play out with primaries in different states. So 10 Republicans voted to impeach Donald Trump uh, previously. Five of those 10 decided to retire, not run for reelection. One of them lost the reelection in South Carolina this week. Others are probably going to have the same fate, including Liz Cheney, who now has very high national popularity as her chair, vice chair on the committee, uh, but she's far behind in the polls and may lose her race in Wyoming. Uh, Pennsylvania elected an election denier as their nominee for Republican governor. Nevada, similar. So, so we're seeing some trouble. And heck, we might even see Donald Trump say he's going to run for president again before these hearings uh, are over or the aftermath of them are. And Dr. Foreman, finally, what can we expect in the next hearing? Yeah, so this is a dynamic process. They canceled Wednesday's hearing, which was going to look at uh, Bill Barr and uh, efforts to fire the attorney general. Uh, that, that was skipped. Today we heard about Vice President Pence and his team. Uh, the next hearings, next Tuesday and Thursday, one of them is going to focus on states and possible uh, vote fraud uh, when Donald Trump called Georgia and said they wanted to find those 11,000 votes he needed. There may be criminal uh, charges coming at the state level. And then next after that, I think we really want to look at hearing six and seven. That's when they're going to get to the meat of things. What was Donald Trump's actual role, if any, in planning and coordinating and communicating the actions that happened on January 6th? So those are coming in a couple hearings from now. Still a lot more to be uncovered in these hearings. Dr. Sean Foreman, political science chair at Bear University, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you.